Okay, tree diagrams, kind of a recap, introduction, that kind of thing. If you have um, a couple that are having babies and they've got a 50% chance of getting a boy and a 50% chance of getting a girl, then what is the chance if they have three children of getting all boys? So the first child, let's have a look at the first child. What can the first child be? It's a boy or a girl. What's the chance of getting a boy? 50. Yep, so it's a, a half. And the girl? A half. The second child? Boy or girl? Boy or girl. And it's a half, a half. A half and a half. Now we're going to have a third child. And that can be a boy or a girl. A boy and a girl. Remember this actually has a problem, doesn't it? Because it doesn't allow for twins. And it doesn't, at the moment, we're just assuming the 50-50. Oh, yeah. You can say that when you so it's a limited, um, limited look at it, but we're just, we're just going with it. Okay. So now what happens? We multiply along the branches. Okay? So we go a half times a half times a half. What's that? That's 1.5. That's a whole bunch of halves together. What's a half times a half times a half? No, one eighth. One eighth, thank you. So... In actual fact, because if we multiply upon the um, branches, we've actually got eight outcomes here, haven't we? Have we? Yes. So this first one, we've got boy, boy, uh, boy, which has got an eighth probability. The next one, it's a boy, boy, girl, which has got also the eighth, because it's and still... Boy, and then this one, a boy, girl, boy, a boy, girl, girl. A girl, boy, boy, girl, boy, girl, 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 boy, and a girl, girl, girl. Right, so what's the probability of getting all boys? One eighth. So what happened to my friend? We had two boys and then got twin boys. <laughs> okay. Um, he was very lucky. Twin had two boys and then got twin boys, so he ended up with four boys. Yeah, so this doesn't actually account for that. Now, next question. We're all good? What's the possibility of getting all three children the same sex, same gender? Two eighths, because you multiplied along the branches, that's a multiplication sign, and this way you actually add. Okay, so what's the probability of getting exactly two girls? Um, exactly two girls, exactly two girls. Okay, what's, so we've got three eighths, we added those up. What's the probability of getting at least two girls? Four eighths, which is a half. What's the probability of getting at least one girl? Ooh. Seven, seven, seven eighths. Seven eighths. Uh -huh. Okay. So what we've learned here is you can draw the diagram, you put the probabilities on, you multiply along the branches, you can list all possible outcomes. Okay. Some of the questions you have to actually list all possible outcomes, which is called the sample space. So listing the sample space, this is the sample space. And you add up. Okay, so if you've got more than one um, thing there. So what's the probability of getting exactly one boy? That's exactly one eight, um, boy. That's exactly one boy. Yeah, so it's actually three eighths. Okay. 